Okay, so I decided to start making videos again, and there's a couple I wanted to start with in regards to uh, FPGA gaming and uh, some things that are happening right now. In this video, I'm taking a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle FPGA core that was released just a few weeks ago uh, publicly. It's one of the most anticipated cores, and I wanted to see how accurate this one is. Also, I happen to have the PCB to compare it to. To be clear though, I'm not using any uh, measuring equipment to, to compare the Mr. Core to the PCB. So uh, no oscilloscopes or time sleuths or uh, Bunsen burners or fucking beakers and shit just going by what I see here and uh, how the games uh, feel. I'll be running the PCB on a HAS Supergun to my uh, RetroTINK 4K via RGB to a modern UHD TV and a capture device. The Mister is also running through the TINK 4K, and I did uh, nothing as far as setting adjustments to the uh, to the scaler, OBS, or uh, Premiere. As a result, uh, you should be aware that the PCB just comes in a bit darker um, than the uh, than the Mister Core, and I could have adjusted that uh, with the TINK, but I'm just fucking tired. I'd like to say this about this game, though. Um, it's not really my favorite of the genre uh, by far. The first few stages are pretty fun. The artwork is colorful and the sound is cool. But at a certain point, the fucking thing just becomes a quarter suck. Um, I mean, it, just look at this. You, like, you're just getting fucking juggled because it was designed to rob children. I played through the core and the board three times each, and uh, it was a fucking chore. Anyway, uh, TMNT, during playing this uh, game, uh, for, um, for this video, I saw uh, and heard very little difference actually between uh, the two. Uh, I think the colors are a bit more vibrant coming from the core, but uh, that's to be expected, I think. There, there was some like graphical junk that appeared on the edge of the frame when I was running the board uh, that I didn't see on Mister, but like I said, um, I, I did no uh, cropping of the image, and on my CRTs I've never seen that anyway, so that's like not even worth bringing up. In fact, I, I, I thought I was going to find some things, uh, actually, with this core, but um, but I didn't. At first, I thought the attack hits on the core were actually uh, maybe like a, uh, too quiet. Uh, like the sound that it makes when you land a regular hit on an enemy. But, uh, when comparing it to the board, um, they sound identical. Also, there's no notable input lag uh, between the two, and I'm super sensitive um, to that uh, because I play a lot of STGs on uh, CRTs and modern panels, and I didn't notice any kind of latency, actually, um, when playing the core or the PC on, uh, on, my, tele on my UHD television. Honestly, I, I found really nothing to complain about, um, and, uh, you know, Really, I'm not surprised because um, this is uh, Hotego uh, core, and he does a lot of really great work as far as uh, I've seen. This core was in beta a long time, and uh, so so you had to pay a, a, a like a Patreon fee, like a five dollars a month, uh, to get the beta, like to play this game. And I was paying um, that. Uh, I was a Patreon of uh, Hotego's for a few years. And I never played this one just because, like, I, I don't like to play betas. I like to play the games when they're when they're um, completed. But uh, but but I think he should actually put the, his betas behind a paywall um, to get some money for his time because he does really good work. And God knows how much money this guy is spending on, um, you know, like uh, boards to reverse engineer. I mean, this is a fine example of. Uh, of why FPGA is the future of retro gaming. Actually, it's 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 not even the future of of, uh, of retro gaming anymore. It's the present of retro gaming. Uh, if I like, if I wanted to play this game, I, I I wouldn't even bother with the PCB at this point. I would just run the the core and annoy myself that way. 
And so I just wanted to make this video really as a precursor to the next video uh, I'm making because I uh, want to make a point about um, FPGA accuracy, even though, uh, you know, no, nobody will see it. Because that's uh, what FPGA is all about. That's the big get for FPGA. Anything FPGA, it's about the accuracy. Or at least it's supposed to be. So that's it. I guess that's all I have for this one. I didn't really find any problems to, to really bitch about with this one. So thanks for watching, all three of you.